Listen. Thank you. I um, want to imagine, ask you to imagine, a world without farms. This is a very real possibility because currently we're in a situation where we have only about 60 years of farming left if soil degradation continues along the path that it's on today. Soil degradation is a global challenge. This happens in every country around the world. It impacts agricultural productivity in every country of the world. It's caused by climate change. It's caused by wind and soil erosion. And one of the biggest causes is the overuse of our current farmland. We have very limited arable land to grow our food. Saving our soils is fundamental to global food security. Today, as we sit here today, one third of the world's arable land is degraded. And at the current rate, without new solutions, without new changes in practices, three fourths of the world's agricultural land will be degraded in just 30 years. So this is a threat to all of us around the world and an opportunity, and it's an opportunity to change. I'm Rye Wagner, I'm CEO of Agrinos, and we're a leader in developing new, natural, biologically-based solutions for agriculture. Our technologies are based upon a revolution, an amazing revolution that's happening today in biology. This is an understanding of the role of what we call the microbiome, the probiotics, the bacteria that live within our body, in growth, development, health, and nutrition. And by way of example, each of us has 10 times as many probiotic cells or microbial cells in our body as we do human cells. And those cells are absolutely critical functionally for us to have normal growth and development for our nutrition, um, just play an integral role that we're only beginning to understand. The same thing is true in plants and in crops. The role of the microbiome in, in, in agriculture has been greatly underestimated and underappreciated. And what we're understanding now is that this intimate relationship between the microbiome and the cells of the crop really help bring a stronger, healthier crop um, for the growers. A greenhouse um, uses a proprietary um, co-culture almost like a fermentation process to make our product. We take beneficial microbes and we grow them together so that we bring together a community of probiotics that help address different types of nutrient issues. And we add these to the soil, and the plants form a relationship with these microbes, and that helps deliver more nitrogen, more phosphorus, micronutrients to the plant to increase and make healthier, increase their growth rate, make healthier, stronger, more productive crops. Stronger, more productive, healthier crops are more tolerant to disease and drought and other sorts of stresses. Our technologies work very well in very high production agriculture, as well as more labor intensive, low production agriculture. When growers use our products, they can see a visible difference in the health of their plants. And at the same time, they know that they're improving the organic matter and the quality of their soil for this year, for next year, and for future generations. Products work across diverse cell type, or plant types, crop types, uh, and soil types. This is a huge issue, as we heard um, earlier, um, in terms of helping to address rural poverty. Rural poverty is actually increasing, and has increased in just the last few years, from 67 to 80 percent. And most rural communities are heavily dependent upon agriculture and the income that farmers make. So this is, is actually having a big impact on farmers around the world. Currently, we're improving the lives and the soil of over 700,000 farmers around the world. We're commercial in 13 different countries. And our goal is to rapidly expand the adoption of our technology to bring these benefits not only to, to the lives of people, but also to the soil, because there is no planet B. Thank you very much. <laughs>